This is Susan Bush for SGTV. Sullivan Goss has built relationships with a great many artists throughout the community, the state, and the nation at large. But it represents just 13 living artists full-time. The gallery selected these people for representation based on their quality, individuality, value, and art historical importance. Some of the artists have two decade tenures with Sullivan Goss. Some of the newer artists to the program have only been here for a few years, but gallery curators have nevertheless followed their careers for much longer. This has fostered a rich understanding of the artists we represent. Deep familiarity creates connoisseurship, a word that gets its meaning from the French verb for to know. Selecting one masterwork from each of these artists utilizes our connoisseurship as gallery curators and demands patience and careful looking before selecting a masterwork. Each of these artists soars when their own favorite kinds of images also employ their specific technical gifts. From Meredith Brooks Abbott, a masterclass in warm and cool greens and browns, forms an impressionist landscape of the Carpinteria Valley in spring. From Whitney Brooks Abbott, a sturdy, if somewhat desiccated, barn painted in prismatic light in the broken color technique of the post-impressionists. From Ken Bordalazzo, an outdoor kinetic stainless steel sculpture of uncommon grace with three separate rotor joints whose minimalist and op art impulses are as balanced as the arms of the sculpture. From Phoebe Brunner, a magical realist wetland with rippling grasses and churning clouds. From Patricia Chidlaw, a moonlit rail yard in Los Angeles that sits along the concrete embankments of the LA River. From John Francis, a tonalist dream of an Airstream trailer perched on a cliff overlooking the Pacific. From Robin Gowan, a dance between hills and valleys, between shadows and highlights. From Susan McDonnell, a suggestive still life tableau inhabited by an inquisitive small creature in the magical realist tradition. From John Nava, a postmodern realist figure painting with strong classical references. From Angela Perko, a fractured and dynamic, almost cubist painting of the Santa Barbara Mission. From Hank Pitcher, a formal and architectonic painting of the cottages that line Miramar Beach. From Nicole Strasberg, a subtle and abstracted painting of lily pads floating in the ambiguous space described by water reflecting the sky above. And from Sarah Vetter, an evanescent image of a primordial Central Coast landscape painting with tonalist roots. In any solo show, these pieces would be among the highlights. For the months of May and June, they can all be seen together in one room. Masterworks, the artists of Sullivan Goss will be on view from April 25th through June 23rd, 2019. Come see it.